I got a good feeling about this. Damn it, you burger punk! Soda is one of the most popular drinks in the world, and there are a multitude of flavors to choose from. However, while a select few have stood the test of time, others have fizzled out, never to be seen again. So let's take a look at more top 10 soda fails of all time. You're an embarrassment to me. OK Soda. It's just. Okay. OK Soda was a soft drink that was created by the world-famous Coca-Cola company in 1993. You've likely never heard of it because it was only in production for two years, thanks to Coca-Cola's strange marketing technique. At the time of its release, the second most recognizable word in the world was Coke, second only to the word OK. The marketing campaign and the design of the can were meant to appeal to Generation X, who were said to be a generation of cynics who did not like advertising. Even cynical members of Generation X. <clears throat> yeah. Groovy. Thus, an anti-advertisement of sorts was created. Describing something as simply OK is not exactly a way to get people running out to buy your product. Coca-Cola has said that the point was to under-promise, rather than to rely on a common marketing technique of over-hyping. If they marketed it as only OK, people can't really be disappointed if they don't like it. To make matters worse, OK Soda was nothing like the original Coca-Cola soda, as it was a fruity soda. So even loyal fans of Coca-Cola could not get behind the drink. That was the best you could do? Shut up. Pepsi Blue. I'll take a Coke. Is Pepsi OK? Is Pepsi OK? Is Pepsi OK? Like Coca-Cola, main rival PepsiCo decided to put out a fruity soda as well. PepsiCo called it Pepsi Blue, as it was a blue-colored, berry-flavored soft drink. It was launched in 2002 and had a short shelf life in Canada and the United States, as it was discontinued two years later. Unlike OK Soda, however, Pepsi Blue is actually still in production. It's still available in the Philippines and Indonesia, so Pepsi Blue is not a complete failure. That's, that's something, right? <laughs> the flavor has been described as blueberry and raspberry with an aftertaste of cotton candy. It is blue in color and is more sugary than Pepsi's original cola. Despite its sugariness, North Americans did not take to it as well as those in Asia did. This is not for lack of trying, either, as PepsiCo heavily promoted the Pepsi Blue Soda. They created advertisements with big-name celebrities like Britney Spears and the bands Papa Roach and Sev. They also paid to have it advertised in the Garfield movie and The Italian Job. And it made me think what I always think. What a waste of money. Even after all this advertising, sales of the drink remained low, and PepsiCo cut their losses by stopping production in 2004. Sprite Remix Rather than just one failed soda, Sprite Remix is a whole line of sodas made by the Coca-Cola company in 2002. The soda was based on the original Sprite, but with three different fruit flavors added. One Diet Sprite Remix, please. There seems to be a running theme with fruit-flavored sodas here, and evidently Coca-Cola did not learn from their first fruit-flavored fail. Like the other two fruit-flavored sodas we discussed, the original Sprite Remix did not originate originally last long either. It was introduced in 2002 and discontinued three years later in 2005 due to low sales. The greatest teacher failure is... Surprisingly, the first Sprite remix made a comeback in 2015 and is actually still available under a new name, Sprite Tropical Mix. Hello, boys! I'm back! The Coca-Cola company took their experimentation with Fruity Sprite one step further and created flavor packets. The packets contained a flavored powder that you could pour into your original Sprite. While this does sound like a fun science experiment, it did not help the sales of the original Sprite Remix line and was also short-lived. Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla Not to be confused with the Coca-Cola company's other sodas, Coca-Cola Cherry and Coca-Cola Vanilla, 
vanilla, the Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla was a strange mix of both. This soda was even more short-lived than the previous sodas mentioned, as it was introduced in 2006 and discontinued in 2007. This soda was created in an attempt to phase out Vanilla Coke. How'd that work out for you? The Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla, however, had low sales, so Vanilla Coke was reintroduced and Black Cherry Vanilla Coke made an exit. Coca-Cola Cherry on its own has remained consistently popular since 1985 and can still be found in circulation. With the creation of the Coca-Cola Freestyle machines in 2009, however, Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla has made a comeback. The machine is a touchscreen soda fountain with up to 165 Coca-Cola products. The machine allows you to choose your own flavors, so you can also mix different drinks. This is the greatest invention in the world. You'll make a million dollars. The company gets information from the machines, including what flavors are popular, both solo and mixed together. Turns out, people were mixing Coca-Cola Cherry and Vanilla together on their own accord. It was actually the most popular hybrid drink across Coca-Cola's freestyle machines. This led Coca-Cola to bring the previously failed drink back in bottles and cans to stores in 2020. As the drink is still new this time around, it is hard to tell whether it will be another failure like the original or if the rebranding will become popular. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Vault Soda. May I help you? Vault Inspector. Despite the name, Vault Soda was not a typical soda. It was a hybrid drink. Vault Soda was a mix of soda and energy drink made by the Coca-Cola company in 2005. It was a citrus-flavored beverage similar in taste to PepsiCo's Mountain Dew. Vault was actually quite similar in taste to the Coca-Cola company's previous drink, Surge, which was created to compete with Mountain Dew. Surge was discontinued in 2003, and Vault was created to replace it. As it was an energy drink, it was mostly marketed to men, even though women do drink energy drinks. Commercials featured men performing various tasks like mining the seafloor for pearls and even saving a chihuahua while surfboarding, which most men surely do all the time. Right. Yeah, totally. For some reason, these commercials did not help much, and Vault Soda was discontinued in 2011. But some fans of the drink still miss the original Hybrid Vault. There are actual petitions and Facebook groups demanding that the Coca-Cola company bring Vault back. Please! We will never ask for anything Come else on, ever again. Please. Dr. Pepper Red Fusion. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me. Dr. Pepper is one of the world's oldest soft drinks. The first Dr. Pepper was created in the 1880s, while the famous Coca-Cola was created in 1892. Despite the company's long-standing existence, there was only the original Dr. Pepper soda for 122 years. These old fogies are very set in their ways. Dr. Pepper decided to finally branch out into different flavored sodas in 2002 and started with the Dr. Pepper Red Fusion. The Red Fusion was created as competitors like PepsiCo and the Coca-Cola Company were also creating flavored sodas at the time. We cannot afford to fall behind. The Dr. Pepper Red Fusion soda was bright red and cherry flavored, but was only in production for one year before being discontinued. The company has since brought back a cherry soda named Dr. Pepper Cherry. The Red Fusion may not be available anymore, but Dr. Pepper Cherry is still in circulation today if you really need your cherry flavored soda fix. Coca-Cola C2 While most Coca-Cola products usually originate in the United States, Coca-Cola C2 was first introduced in Japan in 2004. It was shortly thereafter brought to the United States and Canada as well. Coca-Cola C2 was a diet soda, as there was a big focus on dieting at the time, specifically the low-carbohydrate diet. I'm really not gonna eat. No, I'm on a special diet. So, Coca-Cola C2 had half the carbohydrates, sugar, and calories compared to the original Coca-Cola. 
It was a strange addition to the Coca-Cola family, as Coca-Cola Zero, a zero-calorie version of the original Coca-Cola, already existed. Somebody get this man a drink, uh, Coke Zero, right? People would choose either the original Coca-Cola or the zero-calorie version if they were on a diet. Despite persuasive marketing techniques where they even marketed Coca-Cola C2 using Queen's song, I Want to Break Free, the soda did not do well. <sighs> Tastes like cheese water. It was discontinued three years later in 2007. It looks like Coca-Cola fans do not want a mid-calorie drink. It's all or nothing when it comes to calories. Lifesavers Soda. That's not a good combination. If you've never tried one, everyone is at least familiar with the candy brand Lifesavers. They are a ring-shaped hard candy, typically, you guessed it, fruit-flavored. The brand has been around for over 100 years as they were first introduced in 1912. So, in an attempt to branch out from candy, the brand decided to make a lifesaver soda. The soda drink was developed back in the 1980s. Nabisco, the then owner of the Lifesavers brand, thought that lifesaver soda would really take off. History tells us that this did not end up being the case, as this soda failed to capture any steam in the high competition soda market. Many think this is because it gave people the idea that they would be drinking liquid candy. That sounds awesome, but no. While this probably sounded good to most children at the time, adults found the drink too sweet despite its fruity flavor. As Lifesavers was, and still is, a reputable company known for their candy, it was hard for people to accept the soda version, as it just seemed too sweet and overindulgent for a drink. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. Pepsi Natural. That's the natural order of things. And you don't mess with the natural order. Pepsi Natural was originally a United Kingdom exclusive named Pepsi Raw in 2008. The drink came to the United States, Mexico, Norway, and Australia a year later, but was marketed as Pepsi Natural. The name comes from the natural or raw ingredients used in the drink. PepsiCo said all the ingredients were naturally sourced and free from artificial flavoring, colorings, preservatives, and sweeteners. I never asked for that. The drink was marketed as a natural alternative to other colas. It predominantly contained sparkling water, cane sugar, and apple extract, as opposed to the carbonated water, sugar, and high fructose corn syrup in the original Pepsi. Pepsi Natural, however, has almost the same amount of calories as the original Pepsi. This did not inspire consumers to switch over to the Pepsi Natural, as the taste was different as well. There were various reviews saying the switch to sparkling water instead of carbonated water made the drink seem flat. Your organic all-natural lifestyle has doomed us all! Due to this, Pepsi Natural did not sell well and was discontinued in 2010. Coca-Cola Beverly One of the Coca-Cola company's biggest soda fails was the release of Coca-Cola Beverly. The Beverly was a soda created in 1969 and marketed towards the Italian community as an aperitif. An aperitif is a drink that is served before a meal. It is typically alcoholic, but Coca-Cola Beverly was non-alcoholic. Wait, what? Why not? Aperitifs are typically bitter and used to aid digestion. The Beverly was no different and is said to have tasted like bitter grapefruit rind. While many of Coca-Cola's international products end up in the United States or vice versa, Coca-Cola Beverly remained in Italy. We don't want you here. Coca-Cola Beverly was so successful there that it was in production for 40 years, only being discontinued in 2009. It never gained popularity in the United States, though, due to its bitterness. It used to be available at Disney World in the Epcot Park at Club Cool to sample, but unfortunately, Club Cool closed down in 2019. If you do want to try the bitter Beverly, you'll have to go down to the World of Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. What would you guys think of a road trip? Take a sip out of one of our other great videos and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.